What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aditya. Another episode on Indian student in Canada. And in this video, I'm going to share actually about my horrible college days here in Canada. Of course, this is not my college. This is University of Windsor. <laughs> but beautiful campus. Look at that. It's really beautiful campus. You have a nice LED lights and you can hang around here. You have a nice cafeteria somewhere there. Beautiful buildings. Okay, enough, enough marketing about <laughs> University of Windsor. Let's talk about uh, my horrible days. So, first of all, I went to Sarnia Lambton College. Um, it's a Lambton College in Sarnia, which is in Ontario, Canada. Um, and I did IT networking. So first of all, I didn't know anything about networking. I didn't actually pick the course by myself. Yes, dumb me. Please hate me in the comments for that. <laughs> Tell me I'm dumb. Uh, I'm just curious. Yes, I didn't pick the course. I went to Visa consultant consulting office in Hyderabad, and I told them that, hey guys, I wanna, you know, me and my friends, we wanna go to Canada. Um, and they asked, you know, what's your current education? What qualifications you have and all those things. And they said, you know, it's maybe this course would be a better one for your visa. So I said, sure, let's go. So that's how I came to Sarnia and for that course. Literally a horrible schedule because the college is like from morning till evening, every day, morning nine till evening six. And every day, more, uh, Monday to Friday. And on top of that, sometimes have to do some um, lab work during the weekends. On top of that, every day morning exams, like uh, we have to take a test. Literally, first of all, from Monday to evening and then next day morning course. So that means no freaking time for personal, no freaking time for doing part-time jobs. <laughs> Because, you know, um, I don't know how many people, at least uh, I, I want to see in the comments, how many people would come to abroad, expect that we can find a lot of part-time jobs that I can at least survive during the days, um, you know, for, for uh, a living. So all of a sudden there was no jobs and there was no time to do jobs and have to study. And by the way, we have to have formal dresses every day so this is the situation and the course was for uh, actually two years course it's like um, first two semesters is IT and then co-op and then uh, next two semesters is like programming web design networking um, then uh, co-op and then web designing I'm like this is already out of my box like this is so much already for me so I told myself buddy you gotta get out of this and I was like asking everyone um, who's like our seniors what they're doing and I found out a escape route I was not smart with my you know before I, I was not smart in doing research before I came here that's why I if you would have watched my previous video I, I really lost so much money in the beginning. So now I started to look into what are the escape routes from this course because this is getting too much. So finally I found about this course, GAS course, <laughs> GAS, G-A-S, General Arts and Science in Niagara. So I'm here in Sarnia and this course is in Niagara. This course is for four months. It's one semester. So I was told that if I do like my two semesters in Sarnia, which is like, you know, uh, IT course, which is networking course, and then co-op. So that becomes three semesters. Co-op is like fully working. And I'll, t <laughs> I'll tell you about that co-op in a second. So literally this becomes one year course. And on top of that, if I do the gas course in Niagara, now it's like total four semesters and I qualify for 
getting three years work permit because that's really important. Uh, three years in, uh, work permit will put me in a best, better position to get PR. So I decided to go do this course and I'm here in Toronto. Uh, after eight, two semesters, came to Toronto and good thing with this course was it's only like one day college and that too in Niagara and I used to live in Toronto in Scarborough go in a casino bus five dollars every week one day in, in a week and rest of the five six days I used to work part-time jobs like has a full-time job of course some of them are for cash and all those things but was working as off and I'll talk about the those part-time jobs in the next video so many things that I feel I could have done a little differently. So let me, you know, just recap on what could have done better. So, you know, if you're in my shoe, if you're in India or somewhere thinking of coming to abroad and study and have a better future, then this is what I would recommend. If what could have done differently. So one, I should have did my own research about the course or even when that consultant told me what course and when they got me that mission I should have went on their website and look more about that course what exactly is this course you know uh, is this a good one for me or not I should have done proper research number one number two this city has no option for work like you know it's it's very small city and I didn't know that it's not by choice. So if I've just went on to Facebook or, you know, Google about people who are studying in this college and reach out to some people and ask for some suggestions, that would have been fantastic. You know, they would have told me maybe I would have changed my course to a different course. I don't know. That would be different. So that's number two. Number three. So like i was telling my college was from morning to evening every day except weekends of course some weekends we did some lab work but most of the other weekends every weekend we used to party a lot like too much partying and then just sleeping rest of the days rest of the you know party on friday and saturday and sleep for sunday or partying on friday sleep on Sunday or watch movies just eat lunch dinner and movies and sleep again or go to casino yes Windsor like Windsor Sarni also had a casino so this was my freaking daily routine for that eight months when I was in Sarnia so I still till the day I regret a little bit I should have learned some skill that could have you know improved my resume or I could have learned a little bit more about job market because in later videos I'm gonna make I'm gonna talk about like you know why it took me so much time to get my full-time job so that's the thing I could have picked some time for myself either on Sunday or Saturday or during the weekdays in the evenings after you know those courses just did some learned some personal skills or I could have made these videos or learned how to edit videos or you know write some blogs something that is interesting to me something that can improve my personal skills something i could have done but one good thing i did though during these eight months i was actually um going some i was going to some church events during sunday morning and and i was mingling with canadians to just learn some english to speak english at that time my english was like sucks I worked, I studied for like two times or three times to get IL6 score. So that was my horrible. At least I did that part. Kudos to me. So the rest of everything, I could have done a little better. What do you think? Do you think I would have done better? Let me know in the comments below. And do you think the story at least gives you, gives you some idea about where I'm coming from, right? So stay tuned for the next video, which will be about Again, all the problems and, you know, so much uh, more deep into my part-time job life. So stay tuned and 
Until then, watch other videos. See you soon. Have a wonderful evening.